To close an embroidery hoop and back it with felt, you'll need the hoop, some felt, some thread, a needle, and a marker. It's easiest to do this step before you start stitching, so you don't have to take your work out of the hoop once you've started. Separate the inner and outer hoops by loosening the screw. Then place the inner hoop down onto the felt and trace it. I'm using Sharpies so that you can see my marks clearly, but I recommend using something lighter so it won't stain your hoop or show through the felt. Cut around the circle you just traced. We'll set the felt aside for now because it's used in the last step in closing the embroidery hoop. After you've finished your stitching, you need to cinch up that fabric that goes all the way around. So we're going to take our thread, and to measure how much we need, we'll lay it around the circumference of the hoop. You want your thread to be just a little bit longer than the circumference of the hoop. Thread the needle and tie off the end, making sure the knot you tie is big enough so that the thread does not slip through the fabric. Now we'll bring our needle through the fabric, starting from the front side and going towards the back. We're going to make a running stitch that goes all the way around the circumference of the hoop. To make a running stitch, bring your needle down, then back up a space away from that, and just continue this process so you end up with something that looks like a dashed line. Try to stay a consistent distance away from the inner hoop. When you get to the end, make a couple extra stitches so that you surpass the first stitch you made. Then end on the same side that your knot is. And this is when the magic happens. Gently pull on both strings and you'll notice that the back will cinch up behind your work. While holding both strings tight, tie them together a few times to secure the back. Snip the strands and you're done. Now the extra fabric is neatly cinched behind your hoop. You can leave it like this or you can back it with felt using the circle that we traced in the first step. Place the felt on the hoop and I like to pin it in place a few times. Choose a color that you like because this will be visible. We're going to attach the felt onto the hoop with a blanket stitch that goes all the way around the hoop. I usually double my thread for added strength and tie off the end a few times. Bring the needle up through the felt a little ways into the work. Snip the extra thread at the end or tuck it in so it can't be seen. Now we're going to start the blanket stitch. Bring your needle down into the felt and then back up above that, catching the fabric underneath. Keep the hanging thread under the needle so that when you pull, it creates a loop. Repeat this over and over again.
If you start running out of thread, just tie it off and start again where you left off. When you're back where you started, just tie it off a few times and you're all set. If you want to be able to hang your hoop nicely, you can use string, ribbon, or cord. Cut a length of the cord you want to use. Then bring the ends together and tie a knot. Take the loop you just made and put it through between the screw and the hoop. Then take the knot and put it through the looped cord. Pull it up so it's tight and then you're ready to hang. If you'd rather display your work on a table, plate stands or small easels are perfect for this. Be sure to check out the other videos on my channel if you need help with stitching or transferring your pattern. You can also head to my Etsy shop to check out some of my hand-drawn embroidery patterns. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.